Hi Lana, and welcome once again to Lana's Coach. Now we want to take a look at some of the teaching practice guidelines uh, to students uh, come teachers. Especially we are going to look at a case study of uh, a case tivet uh, students, right? Now this is for those who are anticipating or rather are preparing uh, to maybe start their journey of teaching practice. Uh, that is if maybe you undertook your course or uh, coursework within the uh, Kenya School of Tibet. So as a graduate or someone who has passed through this particular process, I found it maybe fit to maybe share with you uh, what to expect. But kindly bear with me, I'm not really going to expose everything because uh, for you to get thorough understanding of this guideline, then you have to maybe uh, go to your lecturer or other trainer of the TP, the coordinators and all that to reinforce your understanding. So I'll just be highlighting a general concept about the same. So what are you expected uh, to know, right? What the student, you know, right now, I know you are a teacher, but since you are now someone who wants to align themselves properly uh, to do the right teaching, because uh, I remember when I was joining Kenya School of Tibet, <laughs> I, I was a teacher, but they gave me thorough understanding of what I didn't know. So I was a teacher at the same time I was a student, right? So one thing that you need to know as a student, right, is that uh, you need to understand the school you are posted to or the school that you are going to undertake your uh, teaching practice. Now, what do we mean by this? You need to understand maybe their culture, right? Because uh, ideally this one is going to play a, a vital role know where it is the location no those are just basics right so that when you are going to do some teaching practice you should be comfortable with the environment or with the culture around there right and culture doesn't just mean the uh, maybe the external culture also the internal culture of, of the institution right you also need to know uh, your syllabus uh, of course if you have the the OS also you need to understand it and of course you need to understand your what? your curriculum in details right because those are the main documents right that you need to uh, be using then you must know the room you are allocated or where you are teaching actually takes place this is going to assist you in generating a well uh, crafted uh, timetable which is very very important and you'll need to share this uh, with your supervisors right so you must also uh, you must know which teaching uh, training aids you are allowed to use now this one also is based on the culture because maybe you could be going to a school where they don't maybe use uh, electricity there's no electricity so you'll we'll need to use the chalkboards uh, the charts so these are things that you need to prepare well right and even uh no the person who is going to help you start off this particular process so you need to have someone known as the co uh co-teacher someone is going to guide you on all these so it's very very important so what are the objectives actually for the teaching practice maybe before we look at the main ingredients uh, of this particular tp so by the end of this particular practice or teaching practice you as a student should be able to of course display the appropriate behavior of a teacher so wherever you're posted behave like a teacher show some kind of leadership be a role model <laughs> to those who are teaching uh, of course you need to plan appropriately for teaching right and of course uh, both inside and outside the class right uh, this is something this is a rigorous training that you have been taught so you need to really apply right uh, those particular learning activities organize and carry out school activities properly right within the time frame that you have been stipulated ensure that all these school activities have been handled as as a matter of fact take note of both in uh, inside and out outside activities of of the school because they always affect your program uh, bring about learning in students now this is not just about lecturing are we together 
once you understand the concept you have to reinforce it to the students like you have to use different assessment methods you have to use different teaching styles right so that the students themselves actually own the better part of the teaching don't take control of everything also allow the students uh, to do and to appreciate what they're being taught of course you need to promote good social relations you need to evaluate students progress and of course you need to develop desirable knowledge skills and attitudes now these practice objectives are just captured from what you are taught like in micro teaching you remember those uh, educational methods so those are things that you need to apply in the teaching practice also remember the communication concept now uh, the key requirements for you as a student you need to prepare well the lesson and the session plan so you'll be provided with this template at the school I want to give it to you so the school is going to provide it to you so that you draft it well and of course you need to have a proper timetable I'm going to show you this uh, I'm just going to display the template so that at least you have a look at them and of course uh, there, is, there is an internal assessment record now as I list this also remember that uh, Kenya School of TVET is actually uh, transitioning from the hard copies of these particular documents into some kind of e-portfolio so I'll also just look uh, show you a sample e-portfolio so that you are aware of it uh, of course this e-portfolio will require these documents so I'm not saying that you don't need to have these documents right so you need to have a daily uh, daily form I'm going to show you record of work covered uh, clearance of course that is after the TP uh, TP confidential report a note of caution to all TP bond students term dates right so these are some of the things that you need to uh, to understand so I want to walk you through uh, the various uh, documents uh, which are very very necessary now I've not mentioned uh, quite a number of things that you need to put into consideration but just understand that it's very very important for you to do some due diligence now the good thing is that within the teaching practice before you embark on the teaching practice personally I appreciate and actually give thanks to the teaching practice coordinators they will always take you through so it's just a matter of you doing the right thing because I remember they'll take you through some kind of uh, orientation yeah? uh, like I remember also they mentioned that if you feel that you're not uh, your health is not well you should postpone this just have a written note from the doc if you are pregnant for those of us who I mean all those things they'll always put into consideration so always participate on those orientation because they have a lot of what a lot of information mine is just to guide you uh, especially for those of us who are maybe anticipating to join Kenya School of Tibet and they have heard of teaching practice so let's maybe look at this particular document and I'll also show you uh, the various uh, portfolios all right uh, like I'd mentioned I'll just show you the uh, key documents that are required in your teaching practice and also like I'd mentioned uh, kindly uh, don't ask me for these documents I won't give you because uh, mine is just to show you so if you are in need of them uh, kindly proceed to the Kenya School of Tibet uh, they'll always assist you accordingly right so the first document here is a uh, daily dairy a uh, diary sorry now a diary is actually uh, some kind of document that shows what you intend to do or what you have done isn't it so it kind of record your activities on a daily basis so this document is very very important uh, it's just a matter of stating where you are every day what are you be uh, what have you been doing in that particular uh, institution where you are doing your teaching practice isn't it so you have to indicate the time frame like from 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. you are maybe having the first session in a doing uh, the first session in class state which room or venue uh, maybe uh, from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. maybe you are having the second session state what you are doing there maybe from 10 30 a.m. to 11 30 you're having some tea break show that isn't it so just record until you leave that particular uh, institution when you're going home but you need to record every 
uh, activity that you do on a daily basis right so of course we have clearance certificate form then we have uh, which one is this practice uh, teaching practice timetable so these are a sample of a teaching practice timetable that you need to provide you need to indicate the zone uh, your admission number of course phone number trainer name so it should have this but most important thing kindly will use this template but most important thing is to capture the the term dates right so that your assessor your assessor will be able to know uh, maybe if that particular institution they have gone for half term if they're having some sports days isn't it it's just good and professional to capture these term dates very very important when the, you're closing any special date uh, holiday you have to capture that right so that is a timetable and of course a record of work covered so record of work covered is actually what you've already taught uh, talk about the main element now, if you are using the OC sorry the OS right um, you need to indicate the element or the topic and the sub uh, element and the date that you you taught it isn't it so for those of us who are using the scheme of work maybe you can be guided by the course outline so you can mention the topic and the subtopic right so ensure that also you have that record of work covered very very important scheme of work uh, for those of us who are still using the old <laughs> way of uh, uh, teaching we can you you can still use scheme of work so you have to indicate the week uh, period i'm not here to teach you about this because i think uh, in one of my videos i've taught you how to generate uh, some pc weighted i think uh, pc weighting table uh, but i didn't mention about the scheme of work anyway uh, once you are a student of Kenya School of Tibet, you will understand what it is. So it's a very important document for you to have. Ensure that you scheme all your work. And then you need also to have a lesson plan that accompanies the scheme of work, isn't it? Ideally, what is normal, uh, what happens and what I did is that it's appropriate to scheme the entire term or the entire semester it depends with what you use in that particular institution so you scheme everything before you begin uh, teaching then once you start teaching now you can generate the lesson plans right so it's a good idea to start having the scheme of work it's going to be easier on your side so create the schemes and then as you proceed now you can uh, have the lesson plan the good thing with having the scheme of work first is that you can always generate this particular uh, lesson plans very very easily so that one is also a must have you'll also need to have a session plan now a session plan is for the latest CBET right training that now we are using currently so for those of us who are generating their their content from the OS then you'll be required to prepare a session plan but you won't prepare a session plan without a learning plan so there's also another one that should have come before that yes so actually for you to prepare a session plan you need to have a learning plan first isn't it and the learning plan you need to have what an os so those are documents that you need to uh, to have for you to come up with a very nice well documented teaching practice uh, portfolio now talking about portfolio as i'd mentioned uh, these documents uh, initially we used to print them right you used to print them and then you write of course of course you type and then you print and then the assessor is going to go through your logbook so these uh, hard copies uh, uh, is just something of the past which are actually is being phased out so maybe going forward you will be expected to use the online e-portfolio so let me just show you how uh, this particular e-portfolio will look like so there you go you can see this this is now an online e-portfolio so the kenya school of tivet has made it very easy for the students to actually compile all their documents in a well-organized manner 
So they are going to take you through once you are ready to do the teaching practice. So you can see uh, what you'll expect to do. So they'll teach you how to create uh, this. This is free. So you can see, you can always have the personal information there. You can also have your institution logo, right? And that kind of information. Then you can see how you'll arrange a logbook, have the organization structure, the daily uh, diary is going to be placed there, the curriculum, the records of work, the scheme, if you're using scheme of work or you're using learning plan, if you're using session plan or lesson plan, then also you'll be required to uh, to do some kind of 30 minute recording of a live session, right? So you'll be assisted or uh, they'll guide you accordingly. So you'll up, uh, actually share the link to that video if you have placed it on YouTube or uh, you can also upload it uh, within your Google Drive and just it's going to uh, be visible for the assessor, isn't it? So I, I find it a bit uh, easy and uh, it also gives it also gives the student uh, some control right so it's not like supervisors to be there for you to be doing these things right but at least you have to follow what you are, are taught of course the supervisor assessment will be here any miscellaneous documents you can also have the timetable other records so ensure that within your e-portfolio all the records that are required have been have been captured so I think that is a good guide uh, for those of us who are embarking on their teaching practice, right? So uh, maybe going forward, you're also going to be taken through the learning uh, management system that has well-elaborated way of uh, maybe downloading this particular. So if you have, uh, if you have been authorized to go and do the teaching practice then all these documents will be availed to you so from my end I won't give any document because that is not a good thing right so mine is just to kind of uh, tell you what to expect so if you are authorized to do the teaching practice then these particular documents will be available for you. So should you find this information useful, kindly give it a like and don't forget to be part of this community. All right, thanks.